Mindfulness um, proceeds through using four major neural systems. And uh, I find that uh, naming these to uh, parents and uh, policymakers and even to kids is really helpful. So first, mindfulness draws upon systems and neural networks in the brain that regulate attention. So specifically, there are uh, executive regions right behind the forehead that are involved in the top-down regulation of attention. And literally through uh, sustained mindfulness practice, such as in meditation, uh, people literally thicken neural tissue, cortex tissue, uh, in these regions behind the forehead, which is an indicator that they've built up neural structure because they've used a function again and again, regulating attention, which is central to mindfulness, and in the famous saying, neurons that fire together, wire together. It's kind of like muscle building, literally. As you continually work your biceps, you build up your biceps. If you work your triceps, you build up your triceps. So in that way, through mindfulness training, as people repeatedly work these neural networks right behind the forehead involved with top-down control, uh, more blood flows to them, neurons start wiring together, existing neural connections called synapses become more sensitive and in that way mindfulness training leaves lasting measurable changes behind in the physical brain in terms of its structure and function so that's one way another part of the brain that's involved in attention regulation uh, is called the anterior which just means frontal it's a fancy word for frontal the anterior cingulate cortex uh, you can really Sound like you know what you're talking about. You bust out that phrase, anterior cingulate cortex. Detailed, there are two of them, one on each side of the brain. Uh, and these parts of the brain, uh, which are a little further back from the frontal regions behind the forehead, are very involved also in top-down regulation of attention, in part because they're continually checking, are we on the, the goal, are we moving toward the target, or wandering off? And again, if you're going to sustain mindfulness to something like the sensations of breathing or a candle or a word or a feeling in your body, you, know, you need to be aware of when you're on course and off course. So the anterior cingulate cortex also becomes measurably changed through regular mindfulness practice. And then, um, so those are the, I would say, two major parts of the brain for which there's a lot of research evidence that changes occur when people work the first of these four neural systems that support mindfulness. And remembering again, that as we work these neural systems, we strengthen them. Stimulating them strengthens them. Neurons that fire together, wire together.